Okay, boys and girls, please read number 29. <laughs> She gave six markers to her sister. Now Ginger has 18 markers. How many markers were in each box? Explain how you found them. Okay, she bought three boxes of markers, but that doesn't tell us how many markers are in each box. No. No. Okay. And when we think about this, when we say we don't know how many are in each, that means we do not know what to each. When you say each, that is what kind of operation? It's not add. Add is increase, join, total, both, all together, combine, and all. I know each is probably not on the ones I'm thinking of. Oh, it is. It is over there on the poster. When we think about each, what are we doing, guys? Dividing. Look at the divide poster. Oh. Each. Do you see each or equal roots? That's probably division. It could be multiplication too, but it's probably division, especially if it says each. Okay, we don't know how many are in each box. Now, I know I'm the one that said each. Each is not up here on this. But that is telling you, if you say, okay, I don't know how many are in each box on that very first part. I do not know how many are in each box. You already know. Okay, eventually I'm going to be dividing sometime. But I haven't got there yet. Okay? She gave six markers to her sister. Hey, if you are giving markers away, what does that mean that you are going to be doing? Subtracting. Okay, you're going to be subtracting. Now Ginger has 18 markers. Okay. Now, since she gave them away, she has 18. Okay, so we need to find what number goes before. Something, some big number, minus... Minus 6 equals 18. Okay, we don't know the number, boys and girls. We can do the opposite operation. What's the opposite operation from subtraction? Addition. What? Addition. Addition. Okay, because we have an unknown number, we can do addition with the numbers we do do know and see if that number, when we do the addition, if that number will go in this box. Okay, so instead, since we're doing the opposite operation, let's do 18 plus 6. Or like, it's like she's getting, he's getting them back, okay? Or Ginger's getting them back, the 6 back, just for now, so we could see how many were total, okay? So eight, 18 plus 6, what is that, guys? 24. You say it's 24. Let's see if 24 minus 6 equals 18. Okay, can we do 4 minus 6? No. So we're going to make this a 1, and this a 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. You, you think? Yes. Okay, and then 1 minus 0 is 4. Okay, so... We started, so did we start, do we know how many total markers we have now? Yes. Okay, so she bought three boxes of markers. He had 20, she had 24 altogether then, before she gave them away. Now you have to figure out how many boxes can she have to make all the boxes equal 24. Okay. Now, what did I say we were going to do earlier? Order of operations. No. What did I say we were going to do earlier? Divide. Divide. What did I say we were going to do earlier? Divide. Divide. I said we were going to divide. The reason why we're going to is because we finally found how many markers. Okay? We found how many total markers. We need to split those markers into three boxes. Okay, so we know how many are in each box. So we're going to split those into three, divide by three. 
You don't usually write 24 divided by 3. You go like this. You don't write it on top of each other usually. 24 divided by 3. What is that? Seven? Nope. Not 7. 24 divided by 3. You already got the 24. You put one too many in each row. What is it, everybody? Eight. eight. Should be eight. So, how many markers were in each box? Eight. How many markers were in each box? Eight. Okay, so we have to write eight markers. Then we have to tell how we found the answer. What do we do first? Um, we first figured out what operations were going on here. Okay, but then what do we do? We gotta make this as small as possible so we can fit it in all of our lines. Uh, we figured out how many ginger root to be sister. Okay, but doesn't that say in the problem how many it said in the gave from her sister? Doesn't it say it in the problem how many she gave her sister, yes or no? So did we find oh. that? Doesn't it say it in the problem though? It doesn't say how many Ginger gave to her sister in the problem. Yes, it does. It says she gave six markers to her sister in the problem. Doesn't it say she gave six markers to her sister in the problem? So did we have to find that out? No. No, we did not find that out, guys. That was not the first step. What did we do with that information? Did we do that first thing? Oh, no. I'm asking for the first step. We subtracted and um, we subtracted eight Okay, but then how do we find the blend? We added eight plus six. Okay, so first I add added eighteen plus six. To find <coughs> how many total what? You guys tell me what total markers. We're gonna write equal twenty-four total markers because we want to make sure we have that. Then what did we do with that, Savannah? That total markers? We divided 24 by 3. Okay. Then divide 24 divided by 3 equals what? 8. 8 to what? To find what, Tyson, did you say we were finding? Find how many are in each box. Huh? I'm going to say markers aren't in each box. That's because my word each means divide. Okay, number 30. We are going to have to on this problem stop and talk about it instead of work it out up here together. So we're going to be working it out together, but it may not show on the video just so anybody's watching the video because we need to hurry up because we're not going to have enough time to finish this in the video time. Jordan had 30 minutes left to play innings of his baseball game. If two innings lasted 10 minutes each, how much time is left for the last inning? Explain. 
Okay, how much time is left for the last inning, everyone? Ten. Ten what? Minutes. Minutes. Okay, now you have to tell me how you figured that out. Aubrey? First, we added something. First, we added ten plus ten equals what? The book said everybody. Forty. Why did we add ten plus ten? Because he already said forty minutes. Because it says two innings. Lasted ten minutes each. And what did we do, Bella? What does that equal? Ten minutes what? Okay, these are going to be like what's on your test, boys and girls, tomorrow on this last page. So you really need to think about how you're going to do this tomorrow by yourself. Mrs. Ackerman is not going to be able to help you on it. Remember to put yourself in the story. That really helps. There are 54 students in the marching band. They form equal rows, so there are no fewer than five rows and no more than ten rows in each, or ten students in each row. How many rows can they form and how many students will be in each row? Okay, to find these, we were looking, we said that one, when we do the uh, rows, that means we're making an array, which is basically multiplication. So we had one factor times another factor equaling 54. We found that we can only do 9 times 6 or 6 times 9. So how many rows can be formed? And how many students will be in each row? We can only do nine rows of six students or six rows of nine <coughs> students. Nine rows. Because six times nine equals fifty four, and nine times six equals fifty four. Nine rows of six. One day, only forty seven students came to practice. There were five students marching in the first row. How could the rest of the students be arranged to make equal rows? Explain. Okay, we're still using this 54 students up here. Okay? We're just doing it in a... Oh, no. We're not using 54 students anymore because it says only 47 students came. So we have a different number at the top for our rows and how many can come in each row. Okay? I'm smart. Okay, so I it said... Excuse me. We are not arguing right now. We are doing the video. So your argument is becoming over the video. That's not kind. Hey, we said one day 47 students came to practice and there were five students marching in the first row. That first row was not going to be equal to all of them. So what did we say we were going to do with the five students? What did we say we were going to do with the five students? Mine is subtract. Subtract. So first. First, subtract. What are we subtracting, guys? 47 minus 5 equals... What does it equal? 42. 42. Okay, so then we knew the rest of the rows needed and in, in how many in each row needed to equal 42. And we knew that the only multiplication facts... That equal 42 was what? 6 times 7 equals 42. 6 times 7 and 
Seven times six. We were doing a community.